Hi, this is Max 7 tutorial number 7, presentation mode. Mode is a way of creating a user interface that's clean, that doesn't show all the parts that we've used. Um, when we're in patching mode, we have this wonderful egg timer here that you can see how every little bit of it works and every comment we've made and everything that's going on. But if you just wanted an egg timer without all the parts showing, like this is a little bit like having one of those invisible telephones with all the parts showing, um, there is a way to kind of clean things up and make it presentable, and that is presentation mode. So I'm just going to pick one object and put it in presentate. Well, actually, let's first just put everything in presentation mode. So just follow my mouse down here to the bottom and you will see, um, I always love this extra slow zoom, um, right down there at the bottom, there it is, that little um, display board, okay? When you click on that, um, you'll notice that everything disappears. I'm going to zoom back out. You'll. That's funny. I'm zooming out, but it's zooming in. Um, Come on. There we go. Zooming back out, zooming back out. Right. So where did everything go? Well, it went to <laughs> it went to presentation mode in a handbasket. And the reason that nothing's there is that we haven't put anything um, into uh, presentation mode. So let's pick this big message here, your egg is ready. Um, your patcher should be unlocked. And let's just click on it and now come over here to the inspector and click on all in the far right hand side I will zoom again over there okay I zoom to you can see it now there's the all over here in the corner but let's uh, zoom out a little bit so we can see what happens when things are in presentation mode so right down here once you've hit all under appearance the third one down is include in presentation and if you come and click on that you'll see that suddenly there's a patching rectangle here with some coordinates and the presentation rectangle suddenly has coordinates and that means that this message down here um, will now be in presentation mode so let's lock our patcher and go down and put everything in presentation mode again. Just click down there and there it is. Your egg is ready. Now notice that there's still these boxes here. Um, that's because the patcher is still unlocked. We can um, lock our patcher and now you can see how clean that looks. Your egg is ready and there's nothing else around. No patch cords, no boxes, nothing. The only thing you can do is click on your egg is ready. Um, one of the things that is sometimes hard for people to get used to also is that when you put things in presentation mode they go um, they're set in presentation mode where you put them in presentation mode the first time so just observe now we'll um, we'll take this out of presentation mode and uh, unlock our patcher and now I click on this um, if I move this over here now, way over here on the left, right, and now I click into presentation mode, watch what happens. It goes back over there where I initially put it in. So if I want it to be some specific place, I either have to put it in presentation mode when it's there, or unlock the patcher in presentation mode. Oops, I locked it unlock the patcher in presentation mode and move it somewhere and then that is where it will be when it's in presentation mode when it's in patching mode whoo I didn't expect that I oh um, I think that's because I've been scrolling around inside the patcher and when you lock it it goes back to its default position but um, 
So there it is locked in presentation mode and now we're going to take it out of presentation mode. And it goes right back down there to where it was when we moved it again. What if I want everything to stay still while it's locked or unlocked? Well, what I do is I unlock this, I click on it, and I go over to presentation mode, I take it out of presentation mode, and then I just put it back in presentation mode. And that essentially resets it. So now, when I go to presentation mode, and here I go, clicking on presentation mode, it stays right where it is. And of course, everything else disappears whether it's locked or not. So I'm going to lock it, unlock it. Okay, so if you want things to stay still, that's you, the way you do it. And now we're back in the regular mode, but that's just one object. So let's, let's um, think about all of our objects that we might want to put in presentation mode. If this is an egg timer, um, what things do we need to, for it to do? The one thing we need is um, obviously to know when the egg is ready. So we click on that, we've already done that. Let's push our shift key down so we can just pick all the objects that we really want. We might want this, which is how we turn it on and off this toggle switch, so let's click that. I like the kind of beeping on and off of this little button, so I'm going to click that. Um, we'll need to be able to reset it. We will need to tell it to count to 120. And we will need, uh, what else do we need? The speed. So let's click this slider and this speed thing. And then let's just um, put them all in presentation mode. So come over here to where it says include in presentation. Um, the box is checked because we have multiple objects selected and some are checked and some are not. So uncheck them all and then check them all. And now come back over here and put it into presentation mode. Sorry, go down there and click on that chalkboard. And what do we get? So now we get these things and we can order them where we would like them for the egg timer, for example. Let's just say this is what we want our egg timer to look like. Um, here it is and this is the start button here and I'm going to grab one of those things and make it bigger. So that's the start. And um, reset. Uh, this is a kind of dumb looking uh, egg timer, but what can you do? Um, <laughs> here we go. And this thing's just going to blink on and off when it's running going to move that up there. By the way, you can just uh, click on your little arrows. I, I, this, this isn't the, the greatest um, interface here in the world, but you know, it's what we've got for the moment. And um, we can also sort of trick this thing now in make it a little bit smaller. I'm not sure why we would want to do that, but let's just say Oh, we could put it at the end. Oh, we can make it a horizontal one. There we go. We'll make the whole thing horizontal. And there's the speed. That is the speed. And this is what it's counting up to. This is probably not how we would do it. We'll, we'll, we'll do a better version soon. This is just to get the idea. OK, there it is. Your egg is ready. And now, if we want to, um, we can lock the patcher and click the go button. Actually, it was the reset button, right? Let's click reset. Timer's ready. Click go. Off it goes. Blip, 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 blip. Counting much faster than um, 100 and uh, than 1,000 milliseconds. It's at 160, so it'll get done a lot faster. Um, but as you can see, now our now our egg timer um, has a much better look to it. So this could be our this could be our patch, or even we could make the whole window smaller, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this is how presentation mode works, and this is one of the ways that we make presentations. Um, I'm just going to unlock the patcher for a second, and 
we're still in presentation mode and the nice thing about that is if you're working in presentation mode um, the things will be right where you see them when you put them in presentation mode whereas if I take it out of presentation mode right now everything will go flying all over the place watch there goes back like that so sometimes you actually want to work in presentation mode for example I feel like this whole thing would be a whole lot nicer if we had a panel so I'm gonna type letter N and I'm gonna type panel there it is and there's our panel and I'm gonna click on it and in the inspector or, or I could do it up here with the formatting palette another way to do it here is the interior color let's uh, it's an egg timer which to me evokes the color yellow um, and then its other color <laughs> is yellow how's that for a huh this says the border color oh why do I have a I, I don't like this uh, I don't like it I can't do anything about it why do I have a oh I see sorry look on when you click on this the interior color I, I didn't see this this is a new feature in Mac 7 just to confuse people like me who had Mac 6 but it's a gradient color so here's the yellow that I picked and what I need to do is pick this one now and pick another color of yellow to get a nice yellowed gradient now that's not very gradient ish is it there we go a much nicer gradient and uh, that's how that works to get your panel color so now we've got a nice yellow panel here and let's see where it is we want to put it more or less like this and let's just say we made it about that big this is how big we want our egg timer well there's a problem it's on top of everything else so while we have the panel selected let's go up here and click on arrange click on arrange again and say send to the back and now our other objects hop up on top of it so now we can make a a kind of different sort of um, egg timer there we go there we go let's just say so in now um, I think you could imagine this sort of being a, a nicer uh, graphic user interface that you might want to use with your with your piece when it's ready so that's what presentation mode is all about and again you'll notice that when you're in the patching state versus the presentation mode state that these things will move around quite a bit now um, I'll just go clicking back to the patching mode and everything's all over the place and uh, this panel just kinda ended up here so here's the patching mode and we'll go back to presentation mode um, where you're really building a graphic interface now I have lots of complaints about this graphic interface but um, you know you can uh, start to make sense of them as you're working but that's generally what I was trying to get across which is when you put things in presentation mode um, this is what you're aiming for as a graphic user interface so that's really it for presentation mode um, put your egg timer in presentation mode and uh, whoops 
Remember, it still only works if you lock it. And, uh, you know, start enjoying your patcher. So there you go. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you next time.